I'm Emma, and welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. Here in New York, we have a lot of libraries. This one has 45,000 books all about poetry. It's called The Poet's House. Thanks to the people here at The Poet's House, we have poetry everywhere. We have it on buses and subways, written on walls, park benches, hanging over our heads, and under our feet. Today we're meeting with poet Bobby Katz. She's going to talk to us about her poetry books and maybe give us some hints on how to write poetry of our own. Come on, let's go in. How long have you been writing for kids? Oh, it's a very long number. It's a very big number. I've been writing for kids almost uh, 70 years, I would say. How many books have you written? I'd say somewhere be between 65 and 70 books. Where do you get the ideas for your poems? I get the ideas from everything, from everything that's around me. I can't imagine if there wasn't paper, place to put my words. Tell us something you remember about being a kid. I remember walking uh, my mom to the corner the day after a terrific blizzard, and the snow was packed along the sides of the sidewalk so high. And it was like walking through a tunnel because I, I, I don't even remember. And it was just about at my eye level when I was a, a, a child. I just remember the crunch of the snow and this sense of being in a magical place with my mom, whom I love so very much. Did you read poetry as a kid? It's, we had very, very few books in my house. And my grandfather, I don't know where he found it, it was obviously, he had lived a long time, was uh, A Child's Garden of Verses by uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. But it was, you know, it was very torn up and I learned those poems, read those poems. Also, I don't know, do you remember when you learned to read? Yes. And I do too. And that was so special. I had these little blocks with the ABCs on uh, their little chunky square blocks. And uh, the woman who took care of me when mom was at work uh, was a wonderful woman who, who loved music. And I was always, you know, on, on her shirt tail, so to speak. I was always on pestering. And when she would open the cabinet, I saw that the food and the, the other cleaning items in the cabinet had the ABCs on them. And I don't know that this lady could read, but it, to me it was like a miracle to make that connection between the blocks and these things, and it was so empowering. Do you remember that power surge? Yeah. Like <clears throat> so there was J-E-L-L-O, Jello, and T-U-N-A, Tuna. And those, I think, I used to make up jingles. Uh, a lot, like um, ammonia, begonia, who's gonna phone you? Ammonia, begonia, who's it gonna be? It can't be peaches because they're stuck in the can. Maybe it's gonna be the tuna fish man, the T-U-N-A tuna fish man. Do you enjoy receiving mail from kids and do you write back? Yes, I do. I, I also send kids to my website which is www.bobbycats.com, where a lot of their questions can be answered. And it's interesting, every once in a while, I get such a heartwarming, uh, happy notes from kids uh, about my work. It, it makes me feel, you know, terrific. I noticed that in some of your poems, you take the second sentence of each verse as the first sentence for the next verse. Why do you do that? That's a special form called a pantoum. There are actually 16 lines in a pantoum and four stanzas. And each stanza, it's like dozy do your partner when you dance, sometimes square dance. Let me read you one because it's, it's a very formal way of writing. At the edge of the 21st century, imagine Caleb Goddard, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, December 31st, 1999. Tomorrow, a new century begins. 
Tonight the sky throbs with so many stars, so many stars, so many possibilities. We might cast a line and reach infinity. Tonight the sky throbs with so many stars. A hundred years ago, no one could know we might cast a line and reach infinity. Imagine, the web is just a click away. A hundred years ago, no one could know. Kids like you and me, electronic spiderlings. Imagine, the web is just a click away. Everyone on Earth can be connected. Kids like you and me, electronic spiderlings. So many stars, so many possibilities. Everyone on Earth can be connected. Tomorrow, a new century begins. And why don't you, at home, try writing a poem?